Hey everyone! Welcome to the November Plan With Me video. After a brief hiatus, I am finally back with my Plan With Me videos due to popular demand. This time I decided to do something a little bit different. Unlike my previous videos where I used the season's greetings journal, I decided to try bullet journaling simply because I felt like I was sort of limited in terms of design-wise with the season's greetings journal. So for this month's theme, I decided to go with permission to dance. I wanted to truly highlight the song and since it is also the title of the mini concert that is going to happen in Los Angeles in the next few weeks, which I will also be attending, so I'm super excited and I guess I just wanted to remember this whole experience, so I am essentially making November the permission to dance month. So as you can see, I started off the spreads this time by doing a cover page. As you'll see later, I chose a quote from the song and I also included some shapes which I think were super cute and super colorful. And these are the official shapes used for permission to dance and I just think they are so fun so I decided to incorporate these shapes as well as their corresponding colors in the cover page here and also throughout my whole journal spread. So as you can probably tell, I actually did not plan on doing my lettering this way. Kind of just went with it. So as you can see, I am doing outlines now because the pen turned out thin and I felt like I needed the colors to pop a little bit. So I'm currently outlining my letters with the pen and then later on I will be shading them in a little bit just to make them more visible. At the time of recording this video, there is currently a little over two weeks before the concert and I was actually fortunate enough to secure tickets to the Saturday show and the Sunday show. So for the Saturday show, I will be attending the live play and I actually scored some soundtrack tickets which I'm super excited about. And on Sunday, I will be going to the actual live show at SoFi Stadium and I can't wait because this will be my first time seeing them in concert and I already know it's going to be super epic. I just want to take a few moments to talk about the song Permission to Dance. I really think that this song has such a positive message, you know, it's super uplifting. I love this song, it's everything about it, you know, like the melody, the lyrics, also the music video is just super cute and also it just has this super happy vibe to it, which I think is very much needed in times like these. COVID is still happening and there are lots of uncertainties around the world right now and I think the fact that a song like this is able to spread such a positive message to everyone around the world, you know, um, telling everyone to be happy and to get up on your feet and dance because we don't need permission to dance and I just think this is such a great song to be released in times like these. And I also want to point out that the first few times I watched the music video, I had no idea that the choreography at the very end of the video was actually sign language. Like after I found out, I was just amazed, you know, because that just makes the song extra special. It's literally spreading the message that dancing is universal, you know, and I just think that's such a powerful message. And also seeing this song performed live at the United Nations was just something else. That really shows how big of an impact this song has and how important the message that it sends really is.
So over here, I decided to outline the edges of this cover page to make the stuff pop out a little bit. However, as you can see, I wasn't using a ruler, so my lines are kind of crooked. However, it was okay because I started using washi tape to cover it up and also the washi tape I think really makes it more colorful and brings this whole cover page to life. Alright, so moving on to the actual monthly calendar, as you can see here, I did decide to hand draw my calendar and I am using a ruler this time, so that means I do have straight lines. And so I wanted to make a calendar because I wanted to do some decoration around it. And I actually had a pretty hard time coming up with the decorations as to what kind of stuff I want to put around a calendar. So I had to look at the music video a few times um, just to get inspiration. And as you will see later, I did come up with like a sun and also cactuses or cacti because there were a lot of cacti in the music video as well as the signature purple balloon.
So here are what my weekly spreads look like. So I basically have a box for each day and then I just carried out the theme with the cacti and the purple balloons as well as a quote on the page here. So here's an overview of everything I did. Here's the cover page. And then here's the monthly spread. I did go in and added some colors here and there. So the colors kind of pop out a little bit more. And here is the weekly spread. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye.